hello welcome back to the cloud wallet here in this video we are going to see how to use einstein to generate the code in vs to vs uh, code so like a uh, chart gpt and other uh, generative tools we have einstein for developer now available in salesforce so we can enable that in your developer org and also we can use that in the vs studio so let's see how to uh, let's uh, see how to uh, enable the extension for developer and use it in the vs code so let's go to the salesforce org first we'll show you how to activate that so just go to the salesforce login in your developer org and here you are in setup you have to type the instin developer let's type the instin so you'll get option call instin for developer just click on instin for developer over here and you have to enable it so this is the first step you have to enable it in our developer org so let's click on this enable option here uh, they will give the terms uh, terms and condition you can just go through terms and condition and accept it once you accepted terms and condition it is now you can see it's enabled in my org so this is how you have to uh, do the you have to enable the Einstein for developer in your org and then now you can switch uh, to the your VS code now just go to the visual uh, VS uh, code and here what you have to do you have to uh, install the plugin called Einstein for developer so just go to the plugins extensions and uh, just type Einstein for developer this plugin you have to install right now you can see this is already in vs studio code uh, so i will not uh, install it again uh, so if you're not installed in your org you can uh, in your vs code you can just uh, install this extension once you install the extension next step uh, you have to do is you can directly start using uh, this extension in your vs code to generate the code so how to generate the code by using einstein code a generator so here you can see this einstein slide bar a sidebar option just click on this sidebar and you will be able to get this option to type the queries so so i'll write the query over here write apex code to send email to contact okay so this query i have written and i'll just click on ask once you click on ask so einstein will generate the code over here now it can see so here you get the code snippet you can just check that uh, code whether it's properly uh, written or not you can just copy this code and uh, write it paste in your apex class so now you can see this uh, uh, here you can see new class uh, this uh, this Einstein has generated so you can use that class while copying this code make sure that this code is properly uh, properly generated if it is not then you can try it again or whatever changes you want to do it on this code you can do it so other option we'll get over here is the Einstein command like uh, for example now you want to create one method over here in this class so you can just go cursor uh, keep that cursor over there at a particular line number where you want to generate the class and then use the command to generate the code so here you have this command Einstein generate code just click on that and now here you have to write the query so create apex method to send emails to contact okay so i'll ask same question over here so once you click on generate so here you can see now it's in queuing generating the code so once it's generated you can see this code is got generated over here so now you have this three options available like accept try again and clear for example now you want to clear this code which uh, which this Einstein has generated so you can just use this clear uh, link and system will remove this code snippet if you want if you you have checked and this code is not uh, properly written so you can ask uh, this Einstein to try it again so you can use this try again option 
if code is uh, you look like code is properly generated so you want to add that in your class so you can click on accept so i'll just show you how we can uh, what will happen once we accept this code so just click on accept now you can see this generated code this got added on your class so you can use that code likewise you can add another query just go to the command and here you can see use as generate code so you can mention the uh, query over here right soql query to get get all the contact related to account okay click now what uh, this I still do it will generate the code to here you can see it has created one controller uh, because I have not mentioned method so you can see it has written the query to get all the contacts for related accounts likewise you can create the or generate the code from the Einstein. So that's it for this video.